good morning, a welcome welcome to you. It is a new day, a new dawn, a new week, a new chance to achieve all of your goals and start afresh. Welcome. Hello. Um, it's, what have I got to say to you? Well, actually, mm, I don't want to film today and I don't really have any great reason for it. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm not in a great mood, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just in like a regular, just like humdrum, plodding along mood. Um, there's nothing terrible going on. I'm not crazy busy, I'm not crazy stressed. I just, I'm sure you have it too, where you just think, I just don't wanna chat today. I just wanna like get along. I've just been doing little jobs on my laptop. I've done some emails and ticked some things on my list and a little bit of editing for a Facebook video. I've potted it out, I've tidied a little bit. Um, I've had something a bit exciting happen downstairs to the living room, which Christmassy, which I'll tell you about tomorrow. Um, and then I was sat there thinking, right, best best get the camera out, best go and film something. I can film this and I could talk about that. I don't want to force it though. The minute you start forcing these vlogs or the minute you just like take out all the passion and just the joy of it evaporates, not just for me, but I think also for you. I know that when I watch vlogs, I can tell when someone is like really forcing it and really just doesn't want to be doing it. So I thought, meh, I'll just, I'll just tell you that then. <laughs> like that's the point of these vlogs is to just document life and today is Monday the 26th of November and I am just feeling quiet today so um, I will leave you up here and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I hope I'll be feeling a lot more chit chatty. Tomorrow Tuesday is generally a more mummy day so we'll be doing something cosy and nice and I think that's what you like anyway. So I'm going to get back over here to my soft office and see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm having a big old tidy because we have mess everywhere. And you might have noticed, oh hi, it's so flipping Christmassy. So last year, you might remember, I was fully pregnant by this time of the year. I think I was 36 weeks pregnant and my parents very kindly booked me to have a Christmas decorator come and do my Christmas decorating so that basically, I could just rest my big old whale-like body and have it done for me. Now clearly, this year, I'm not 36 weeks pregnant, I'm not any pregnant uh, at the moment, or I'm not planning on being, oh, there's no pregnancy in my future. We don't know, do you? But what I'm saying is, oh my God, how has this happened? Wow. As you can see, I've booked the Christmas decorator again. I thought I could get the 900 boxes out the garage of all my old decorations from my old house or I could just not. And it doesn't escape me that this is an incredibly luxurious thing to do. I know that this is not something everybody could do. It's certainly not something I could have done a few years ago. Um, some people spend their money on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I spend it on baubles and glitter. Um, so there we are. I feel like I had to put a disclaimer out there because I don't want you to feel like I'm showing off or being, you know, oh God, Baby's in a plant. Get out of there. Get out of there, that's soil. We don't want to feel like we're showing off, do we, Pearl, or being obnoxious. So just know that I know that this is a real treat and a real luxury. Yes, I do. Do you? You don't. You don't. You don't. Oh, say hi, everybody. I've just woken up. It's about, what time is it? Half past eight. Say hi, everybody. Actually, I've been up since seven. But I'm just getting going. Can you see yourself? I can't wait till you watch these back when you're a big girl. <laughs> right, we're gonna carry on having a bit of a tidy because we've got people coming over for dinner tonight, haven't we? Yes, we've got Dexter coming. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. A sad day has come. I've run out of my wild rhubarb and I really need to actually do some stuff. I can't leave it till I go shopping. I remembered that I have this Zaflora Lemon Zing. Mm -mm -mm. This is that concentrate stuff that you can like make your own sprays out of. You can like, you can put it, Mrs. Hinch puts it neat in her sink. Excuse my jingle bell baby in the background there. I'm not measuring this. Put that much in. Is that about right? About that much? I'll add the water. I feel like I've won at life. I feel like I've cheated life in this. I mean, 
that does smell nice. It's never going to be my method wild rhubarb, is it? But that does smell nice. A good fix to a problemo. Lovely. Thought I'd share that with you. Oh, is it meant to be a milky kind of a colour? Does anyone know? <gasps> you ready, Pearly? Oh, lovely, lovely spray action. Very nice. Okie dokie, it's much later now. Pearl's in here again. You think that she's just in it all the time, but she's had a nap. I've had my lovely Fiona, who is my WW wellness coach, come over. I've had a gain this week, which is the first time. Oh, by the way, I'm a WW, which used to be Weight Watchers ambassador. I've talked about this entirely in a whole separate video on my channel. If you just search WW in the search bar of my channel, what's she doing? Um, and I am their ambassador. I'm being sponsored to be their ambassador, but the stuff I'm telling you now is just just want to tell you things that are happening. So this was my first gain in weight since June, and I remember when I started thinking, oh my god, if I gain weight, then I've failed, and I'm going to feel really bad, and it means I've eaten too much, and and I just don't feel bad at all because. I've like taught myself, it's just real life, like sometimes you do have weeks. I went away and I didn't track really very well and I just sort of, life got a bit on top of me last week. So, that noise is so annoying. I have just spent 20 minutes with all my little like booklets that you get and I've made a better list and I've even like made a bit of a plan for what day, where are we? Here, where I've written like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Obviously there'll be like little snacks in between or I might deviate. Let's get you out of here because that noise, that's a bit annoying. I might deviate like off the plan sometimes, but last week I didn't have any plan at all. I just thought I'd wing it and it didn't really work. <laughs> Obviously I've gained two pounds. I feel okay about that also, hormonal and that kind of stuff. So. I think the main thing, yesterday I said to Liam, I just felt so gross, like, felt gross on the inside because I hadn't really been putting anything fresh or, like, good food in my body. I'd just been putting a lot of deep-fried cheesy jalapenos in my body and that's not going to serve you well. I can eat those a week. Sometimes, yes, but all week. No, mummy almost turned into a cheesy jalapeno. <laughs> yes, you smell. You smell not like cheese jalapeno, you smell like poopy jalapeno. We're gonna deal, this, we'll deal with this, and then I'm gonna go to the supermarket and get a good shop in so that I've got like exciting things in my fridge to go and pick out what I want to pick rather than picking at crisps. I also wanted to apologize for last week's vlog footage. So much of it was out of focus. This camera, I think, is on its very last legs because I use my cameras so hard, like I throw them in bags and the kids drop them and we're not super careful with them. Where's it gone? I bought a new camera and I put it on the stairs. Hmm. Well, anyway, I was going to tell you. Oh, here we go. I bought a new one. And if anyone's interested in vlog tech, I always buy Canon G7X Mark II. I've had about four of these now over the years. I used to have the Mark I ones when they hadn't brought out Mark II. Now I get marked to you. I will leave a link if you are interested in these cameras. They are brilliant. Basically, every vlogger I know uses this camera. Oh my goodness. Just having a look at the tree. Should we go and have a look at it together? But I'm worried that this is not going to last long. Oh dear. Are you going to start pulling things off? So this is my beautiful tree. And I asked for pearly baubles for pearl and lots of white for pearls. And for Darcy, I asked for ballerinas because, as you know, she loves to dance and unicorns. And I've literally been given exactly what I wanted. This was exactly how I had hoped it would look. In fact, it's better. Are you clapping? Is it so good? Oh. Oh, how am I going to train you not to touch this? How? Yes. I also have garlands above the windows and these are more gold. So these are like gold champagne and pink as opposed to like white champagne and pink. And they have little hummingbirds coming off them. And I have one over there as well and one over there as well. 
we may as well just do a full tour now, eh, pearly girl? We may as well. Right, so going up our stairs, we have this beautiful garland. These are golds and lighter pinks and obviously white lights and green wreath or garland. And then, oh my God, <laughs> look how beautiful it is. You might think this is a bit over the top, but I think more is more, baby. So we have all of this with the pinks and the glitters and the ribbons and the foliage and the roses. Yes, my pearl. This is how mommy does Christmas. And then moving into here, this at night looks sensational. Let me move back a little bit, try not to trip over a, a cat. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at this tree, would you please? Oh my God. Look at this tree. Yes. Focus, please. Oh yes, that was magical, even though it's accidental. If you look closely in this tree, we have pearls and diamonds. And I always say that Darcy is my diamond because her birthstone is uh, April and that's diamond and also D for diamond. And then Pearl, although her birthstone is not a pearl, her name is Pearl, so she has pearls. So I asked for the girls to be like integrated somehow. So we have pearls and diamonds just dripping all the way through. Ugh, I need to spend some time just like really looking at all the elements of this tree. We have these beautiful purple flowers. I said I wanted like Cadbury's purple because I thought that would look nice with the walls. This wall colour, if anyone's interested, is from a company called Vasper and the colour is Fishtail. Um, and golds. This I hope will last well because last year my cats kind of went for a bit. And then I don't have a star on the bottom on the top, I have just an explosion of blooms. Um, and then underneath I have nothing, I specifically said nothing because if there was this underneath the cats would rip it up or like potentially wee on it. Hello there. Hello there my love. And then over here we have the extra long garlands that goes all the way down and that kind of mimics the Christmas tree but it doesn't have the pearls and diamonds. They're not real pearls and diamonds by the way, it's all it's all plastic. And then this is like the centerpiece. God, I'm gonna trip over these caps. Just there. So now all I need to do is get some like little bits and pieces out and just dot those around. Although I don't really need to do that, it's just that I have them. So I might do them but see how, how we go for like time and clutter levels because this is my secret shame. This room here is just full of clutter. I love it. I just love it. I won't keep going on about it. I'll just leave it as this, unless you really want like a tour or something. But I just am conscious that I'm so fortunate to have this. So I don't, I don't want to be like, you know those people, what were those, do you remember MTV Cribs where people were like, here's my, here's my mansion and my crystal and my like 18 Rolexes. I don't want to be that person over my baubles. Don't anyone get too excited. But we've got the full set, guys. We have got the full set of everything. All the flavours, all the fun. Gonna stock up on these bad boys. I did like my lemon zing, but I like this more. I'm considering treating myself to a daily gla granite. Well, actually, £4.10. No, I'm not. I'll spend 60 billion pounds having my, it wasn't 60 billion, 60 billion pounds having my house done, but will I spend four pounds on a cleaner? No, I bloody won't. You I've come to that. Esther's and I'm being given a presentation. Yes, I do feel guilty that I don't do enough, yeah. Yeah, do you feel like you never spend enough time with your child? Are you losing your child, in fact? Are they spending more time in their room than with you? Well, this I is don't the alternative know. Oh, okay. Christmas present. If you have a 12 year old, you'll be feeling this. Okay. This is the alternative Christmas present. This is gonna save Christmas. It's the gift of time. It's simply a small box <laughs> that you've hand painted which you can there. Hand paint, yes. And in it is cards. Okay. With things on to do with your child. Okay. So it could be big things or little things like let's go for a walk and talk. That's nice. Or London baby. So that's a day out. Go to London, lovely, yeah. We're listening to Pearl. Can you hear that? Raj loves babies. We are letting Raj look after the baby and <laughs> that's such a nice sound. 
We're, we're trying to work out how big hunter wellies are around the calf. Because I would like some hunter wellies, because Esther and I are going... Well, let's keep that to a surprise. Yeah, yeah. We're going somewhere cold next week, and we need appropriate footwear. Really, what we need is fur-lined walking boots, Esther. But Esther's convinced me that... But they're very expensive, and we'd only wear them once. But they're the same price as the hunter wellies. Yes, but the hunter wellies we'll wear again and again and again. Where am I going to wear patent hunter wellies? Walking around the village, walking through fields. All the fields? Any time you go for a walk and you need to wear wellies, you'll put them on. I'd probably take up walking once I'd bought them. Quite frankly, mine were an investment that I bought about 10, Why are you buying years more? Ago. Because they've now got holes in them because I've worn them and I have them for 12 years. I've never had a pair of wellies for 12 years. Never. They're a pure investment. I'm now going to phone a customer service number. What, are you going to ask them how wide around the calf are your wide leg wellies? Yeah. See if you can say wide around the calf, wide leg wellies. Why around a calf, why leg, Early for the pickup, so I'm sitting in the car listening to the rain. Isn't that a nice sound? Pearly girl is awake, but she's just having some time with her dummy. And it's really cozy, it's really dark. I know that makes it look like it's super bright out there, but the camera is just being just being very nice. It is so grey and so rainy. But I sort of like it, especially now I've got all my Christmas stuff up at home. And then tonight we have Daniel and Becky with their children, Evie and Dexter coming over and I think my other auntie as well and then Lee will get home from work so I'm cooking dinner for everyone. I'm going to do a pasta bake with lots of salad um, and I'm just going to have a little bit of pasta bake because I think the sauce is quite high in points but that's the thing I like. I'm back on the food thing again. That's what I like about WW is that you don't have to like not have a thing because it's the same as all your family. You just like portion it differently so I'll just probably have more salad and less pasta. Anyway. That's where we are, cosy and happy. <laughs> we've got a house full, we've got Doodles and Evie, and then Becky with Pearl, and then Dexter with the cat, look at this. Oh, is it Pussy Cat? Is that Pussy Cats? What are they doing? Are they with Daddy's tools? Dexter's daddy's gonna do my shelves for me. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? And then in here we've got everybody. Oh, oh. He's not jealous, is he? Are you jealous? Who's having a cuddle with Daddy? No? He's like, I don't mind. Oh, come on then. Have you found those cats again? This is a kitty cat. Mm. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. What do you think, yeah? No, it's alright. What do you think? Can you see yourself? Oh, there she is! Look! So there's me and Dan when we were little. Oh! Give her a cuddle. Oh, that's nice! <laughs> so adorable, I can't bear it. A meow! Judith, is it like history repeating itself? It is. <laughs> Are you going to climb up on that? There she goes. Oh, yes, well done. Mm -hmm. Are you going to try and stand on it? Yes. Got the cats who just brought in a live mouse, which was a bit of excitement for everybody. Isn't it? Hello, it's 20 to 10 and uh, everyone went home at 8. And then I came in here and I'm doing some work. Oh, it's not a nice angle, is it? Hello, I'm an egg. Um, I've been doing some work for the past hour or so. I don't really get much work on a Tuesday. <sighs> because um, our lovely nanny doesn't come on a Tuesday. And I really want to make sure that I still have a full baby day. So Gleam know not to message me. Um, or if they do, that I'm not going to respond. And I really make sure that Tuesdays are just full like mum time and I always plan lovely things like going to the herb or going to see Esther getting some housey bits done and it was so nice to have everyone over tonight I wouldn't normally do it because you think oh it's a school night but actually Darcy was in bed by eight so it's not too bad actually I should probably do it more often um which is so nice do you do nice things with your family for years our family didn't do things all together 
just never really happened. We see each other like on special occasions, but never like this. And I think having this house, because it's got big rooms, really allows for accommodating people. So, yeah, just feeling like very content and happy. My, as I get older, I realise that the fun that I used to have, like going out and doing shots and like partying and all that kind of stuff, just doesn't thrill me anymore. I haven't done that for so long. And what thrills me, because I'm so old, is just like having everyone over and all sharing a meal and just having a nice time together. It was really good. Um, so yeah, just sort of wanted to promote the joys of spending time with family and being cosy. And if you get an opportunity, why don't you invite your family around soon and make a little evening of it and just get everyone together. It's nice. Good morning. I slept in my makeup last night. I was so cross at myself. I've been being so good lately and taking it off every night before bed and putting on like a nice little like sleep treatment. But last night I ended up working till really late and then just had a bath, read some books and read, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This looks like a disaster waiting to happen, my love. <laughs> Filming with children around is always fun. Yeah, I'm reading a new book at the moment. I'm reading the new Tracy Beaker book. Um, are any of you reading it? Basically, it's a story. Remember the story of Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson, who lived in the dumping ground? She's grown up. She has a daughter now called Jess. And Tracy is moving in with a man, a boyfriend. So that's, that's the right, oh my goodness. Now she's over here, having a crawling baby. <laughs> It's hard, they get into everything. Is that good, my love? I suppose it doesn't help that I've got sparkly things absolutely everywhere. Yes, good morning to you. Hope you are well. It is half past seven. Um, I'm showered, well, I had a bath last night. I'm dressed in my little um, grape soda up t-shirt. I bought this in Walt Disney World. It's a really comfy fit. Just jeans and a t-shirt day. Well, for this morning, I'm going to smarten up for this financial advisor today. Hello. We've got everybody. We've got the whole gang this morning. We've got the whole gang. You are. Are you going to climb up? Do you want some help? Yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Pull up. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh. There he is, and gentle. Very nice. Oh, hi. Yes, I'm dressed. I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing because I feel like I've put myself together well today. So, hair has been done by Alicia. Thanks, Alicia. Earrings, for once, I'm not wearing pearls, which is very, very unlike me. I bought these at the airport on the way to Krakow last week from Accessorize, so they'll still be there. Oh, they're not even focused. That's good. Me. And then this necklace as well. Now she's focused. I think it's a really, feels a bit wizardy, doesn't it? <laughs> and that's the vibe I'm looking for, wizardy. And then this dress is an oldie but goldie. I think I bought it on ASOS. It cinches in, but it's floaty. I like the sleeves, leggings. And then I'm gonna just put on little brown booties um, and a coat and my bag. Maybe I should go for a more professional bag. I've gone for this cat kid someone with Mickey Mouse on, but I might turn it around like this for the meeting so that I don't look like the 33 year old woman that brought a Mickey Mouse bag to a financial planning meeting. Oh, wee, that's a bit low. That is a bit low. Let's put you on top of some books. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let me do like that and you can see the Christmas tree. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? <sighs> it's been a day. It has been a day. I thought I would just talk about it now so that tomorrow we can just draw a line under it. And Esther's coming around tomorrow morning and doing something really lovely with me. So I don't want this day to like merge into tomorrow's day. Right. I don't know where even to start with this. I forgot where we last got up to me talking about going to the accountancy meeting. So I left an hour early. I left in good time to get to this meeting. The meeting was in Milton Keynes. I live in Northampton. It's about half an hour away. Something in that cupboard smells. So I'm just gonna shut that door and I just need something to fiddle with while I talk. This will do. I need something in my hands. Is it my hands? I don't even know what to do with my hands. In that film reference. 
Right, so I left with an hour spare. Then Liam asked me if I could drop something off to his work, which I'm more than happy to do because he was dealing with a really big thing at work today as well. So drop that off. Then realized I had no petrol in my car. The light had dinged on. Usually I pay such good attention to those little details of life. I'm usually quite on it. But just at the moment, there is so much on in terms of work, of school things, like every day you've got to remember to bring something different in. Um, social things family things there's just like in every life area at the moment there's just a lot in it and it's all fine but you know we've just got a lot so I just didn't notice the petrol so I was like oh no I'm already like it's already 20 past 12 and I need to go and get petrol now so that delayed me as well by this point I've got half an hour to get there and it does only take half an hour so but like you're cutting it for I wanted to get in I wanted to go to the loo I wanted to like sit in the lobby be ready be composed but no started driving there the sat nav took me just a really weird way i don't understand this because surely a sat nav is just a computer like a sat nav can't go wrong but the sat nav went wrong then i so i'm a quite nervous driver anyway I'll just put this in perspective for you i'm a nervous driver also and this is about to sound really irrational for my <laughs> i'll just say it for my whole life i've had a deep fear that i'm going to die the same way my mum died my mother died of cancer when I was seven years old. I, a long time ago, I don't know why, it's just a weird, morbid thing I did. Maybe someone else has ever done this, I don't know. I worked out how many months, years, months, weeks and days old I was and how many days in total I was on the day my mother died. I think I wanted to know how much time I had with her because it's precious. And then when Darcy was born, I worked out what that date would be, how many days old she would be, if she had the exact same amount of days with me as I had with my mother. And today is that day. So Wednesday, November 28th is the day. Darcy is the same age now as I was when my mum died. And so all day I've been thinking, well I've been thinking about it all week actually. Like last night I was thinking about all the things I wish that I could say to my mum. Anyway. So I've been thinking a lot about death today and I'm a nervous driver as it is and then I was driving and I witnessed a car accident in front of me where a car that was, so I was gonna, if you've ever been to Milton Keynes you'll know that it's a lot of straight lines, a lot of like grids. So I was like this at the front waiting to go across the junction to carry on going and there were cars here waiting as well. And a car, it was their turn to go. So I had just stopped, it was their turn to go. And this car came and instead of going across, just span like this and then ended up in front of me, facing me. So I was just like, oh my God. And every, luckily none of the other cars had started driving, but everyone had seen and stopped. And I was obviously stopped. And I, even though my lights turned green, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I should do, should I get out and help or what should I do? And then all the cars behind me started beeping at me to go. So she kind of did that. Like I could see this woman, I was looking into her eyes and she just drove off. And I'm assuming she drove to like, there was a car park really close and she had gone to stop in there and just get herself out of the road. So I drove on and my meeting was like, I was almost at my meeting. So. I'm late for this meeting. Oh, my camera's flashing battery now. I'm late for this meeting. I'm thinking about death. I witnessed a car situation, accident, whatever. I don't know if you would call it an accident because she didn't have a crash with anyone. I had this meeting, which was really interesting. And the thing that I've taken from it is get a pension, open a pension. If you are just joining the workforce now and you're in your twenties, open a pension because then when you're older and you want to add to that pension, you can, but just open a pension, open a pension. I'll explain more about this if you would like another time. I'd quite like to talk about some of the learnings from that meeting, open a pension. If you have children and you run your own business and you own a house, life insurance is critical. Um, and also ISAs exist. I don't have any ISAs, but I'm gonna start investing a little bit of my savings into ISAs for the girls as well. So that's what's come out of that meeting but I'm conscious that my battery's flashing. So if this just stops, <laughs> then it just stops. I'll carry on going. Then I was driving home and I was thinking about how I felt quite intimidated in that meeting because it was three like 
middle-aged men in suits there was my accountant who's really nice there was the man from the like financial management company and there was my dad who used to be an accountant and is really involved in all that kind of stuff I was driving back and I was thinking god I came across as so stupid and that I wish I knew more about this and then my dad rang me and said I he said how did you find that and I said oh, I felt stupid and he said well I actually said to um, my accountant he said I actually commented on how business savvy you sounded you sounded business savvy and intelligent and like you had a good firm hold of everything and you understood and you understood the importance of what you were doing and you really understand your own business and you're making really good solid choices for yours and the girls security and future and if you watched a couple of weeks ago you will know it's not often that my dad says I've done well and he did and I thought well then I was almost crying so I was like I can't believe it and then he said I know I don't say he said I know I say this all the time he does not but I'm really proud of you. And I thought, well, I'm gonna have a car crash in a minute because I can't believe it. And I said, actually, Dad, you never tell me you're proud of me. And I have deep issues with this, of like working myself to like exhaustion in every area of life, not just work stuff, but like in making the house nice and blah, everything. And he said, oh, I am really proud of you. I don't know why I'm emotional about this. It was just really nice. I was like, oh, thank you. <sighs> It's been a lot it's been a lot today so then i came home did a little bit of work arranged some stuff with esther had some cuddles with pearly thinking a lot about darcy and my mum today as well i don't want to get upset about it. i'm not upset it's just obviously it's a motive isn't it and i'm thankful to have i'm thankful to have had my mum for all the time i did have her and i'm thankful to have my daughters for as much time as i will have them um and if I'm honest, I think I'm gonna go and have a glass of, I've got some lovely like Irish liqueur stuff in the fridge. I think I'm going, Irish cream liqueur it is from Lidl. I'm gonna go and have a glass of that and a warm bath and call it a day. <laughs> the joys of weekly vlogging are, you get it all, warts and all. Right, don't know who that is. See you tomorrow, love you lot. Good morning, it is Thursday and I am having a bit of a cleaning session because I'm cooking in my kitchen today. That's where people generally cook. Um, so, a few weeks ago I was invited to a little Christmas tasting session. You might have seen it on my Instagram stories. In fact, I've got a highlight of it called Festive Food if you want to go and have a look at that. They said, come and have a little tasting session with us and if you like the food that we make that's all from Lidl, like a full Christmas dinner from Lidl, then if you would like to partner with us, that would be great. And I was like, okay, I'll come along and if I like it, I will. First things first, on the realist. And I also thought, oh my goodness, <laughs> I need a drink. I thought, oh, it will be a little, little samples, little nibbles, little canapes, little aperitifs. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was a 12 course meal with dishes, just so many dishes. It was incredible. There was um, a little uh, like mushroom, is it called velouté or velout? Like a soup, but not a soup, a better soup. There was the turkey, there were these amazing little sprout things. There was a cheese board, there was goose, there was, uh, there was just so much. I can't even remember now, but there was so much. It was amazing. I was absolutely stuffed afterwards. Anyway, so I was like, yes, I'm amazed. All this came from Lidl. It's incredible, like it was exquisite. They had a top chef, they hired this place, this like beautiful building. Um, they had a top florist come, all of that business. And I was like, yes, I'm on board. So last week on my Insta stories, I showed you about their amazing, let me just get them. I don't need to show them in this, but I'm telling you anyway, they have the most amazing mince pies, the deluxe. Well, they've got the deluxe festive tarts, but they're not the ones that I love the most. The best ones are these, the luxury all butter, butterscotch mince pies. So I tasted those in a story, really nice. Everyone enjoyed that. Then they said, oh, next week, we would love for you to show your audience the turkey. I was like, I can show a turkey. I'll show a turkey, no problem. What they meant was, Cook a turkey, cook a turkey. Louise Pentland, cook a turkey. If you've been following along well, you will know that cooking skills are just, God did not bless me with the skills of the kitchen. He certainly didn't. And I said to Lidl, if I cook this turkey alone, 
there is a good chance that I will actually put people off buying the turkey because I could burn water given the opportunity. Uh, I found a solution to this though and the solution is Esther and she's going to come over and she's actually going to teach me to do a turkey because I have two. <laughs> I have one that I'm saving for Christmas day which is in here. Here's my one that I'm saving for Christmas day in the freezer. Yeah. It's my one that I'm doing today. This is a, excuse all this, I'm about to clean all this. It's a British Broadland free range bronze turkey, fresh first class with giblets, medium. Now I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'll put an amendment in text on screen now, that the turkeys are in store from December 19th. So if you were doing a Christmas dinner and you want a turkey, you want to be going to store December 19th. Um, so that just leaves me with cleaning up a bit because I thought oh goodness if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be filming here this all needs to look very clean and tidy I've gone back to my method um wild rhubarb although I did like the Sephora one I felt like when I used it on my surfaces it left a bit of a residue like a greasy residue so we've gone back to our old faithful I'm gonna give these a bit of a wipe I'm not doing my pink stuff with my like electric wizard today excuse me sir I don't have to go back over there. They won't last long. On top of it being turkey morn, guess who else has popped in? Ready, ready, ready. Oh, Chloe looking so freaking festive. I'm so festive. I've got to go to Wonderland. Nails. Oh, okay. Festive. Festive kitchen roll there. Thanks, Chloe. Beloved, come to me. Teach me the ways of a turkey. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm okay. I'm just going to go Ooh. get some more. Yeah. Got one of these. It's the yogurt for the turkey. Yeah, that's, for you. that's for me. What's the got? Oh, excuse me, with my foils on. Chloe's doing my nails. Got some smacked peppers. In fact, you know what? Let's do the nails first, and then we'll come back to this. Got overexcited by Esther coming in all the bits. Are you excited, Chloe, to witness to witness a turkey being basted? I have no idea what that means. Do you baste a turkey? You stuff it, no? Stuff it. Oh, your mum's calling me. Oh, man. Oh. Can't turn it off. Linda? I can't turn it off. I've got the foils on, I can't turn it off. Morning. Right, here we are. I've done a bit of a makeshift tripod on top of the steriliser, a box, the kitchen roll, and the two mince pies packs. Put little mince pies packs. Yeah. So, right, here we are in our profession. You look, have you deliberately dressed like a professional, like, yes. TV chef? Yes. Do you feel like you're a master chef a little yes. bit? I'd love it if you went on Master Chef. Right, so here we are with the bird. It's 5.16 kilograms in weight. Yes, or 5.16. 5.16, yeah, kilograms in weight. What are we going to do? I, don't, I won't be cooking with my foils on, it's just I'm halfway through manicure, as you are. This is why I'm not a cook, and you are. This is a foil tin. This is a disposable foil tin from Lidl, so you can literally throw it away afterwards. Or recycle it. Or recycle That's it, what yeah. Mean. What we're going to do is we're going to put some water in the bottom so that- To boil it. It creates steam and it infuses the turkey to Not make it to all boil moist, it. that kind of thing. We're going to put a trivet on the bottom of lemons and red onions. I've to come sit. to learn that a trivet is a little platform. Yes. For the a bird to go on. A seat, a turkey seat. A stage throne. A throne. <laughs> for the turkey to sit on top. And then we are going to put butter under the skin of the turkey to make sure that it's butter basted. And we are then butter going to put butter on top, a little bit of salt and pepper. Pink Himalayan salt. Salt and pepper on top. And then we're going to stick it in the oven for three hours and 13 minutes. What do you have to do? So after you've done all, all the, you make you put a little bit of water into steam infused and you've made the trivet thrown and you've basted the, what do you do when when it's in the oven, what do you do to it? Baste it. So you put, you have to get it out at intervals? Yes. Okay. Maybe hourly. Okay, it's yeah. quite a job doing a turkey, it isn't is. it? It is, it's a real commitment, yeah. So you have to put the turkey foil over the top yeah. and then, Every now and again, you open it up, you get the juices, you put it over the top to keep it all moist. The, 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 the word is keeping it moist. Moist, yes. Moist, okay. Um, so that you don't get dry turkey. Okay. And I've that's had how I'm going to go. This turkey at the little tasting thing, and it wasn't dry, it was delicious. I'm not really a meat eater, but I tried it and I liked it. And yeah. if I like a meat, that's good it's meat. Good. 
Yeah. Cool. Oh. So you've literally just roughly chopped those up. There's no. No. Not. I'm not saying you're not skilled, but there's. Like even I could do that is what yeah, I'm saying. There's not there's not like a great skill no. in that Chloe's come over for a little look. We even just put a few bits of garlic in there, like that. So you don't have to take all the skin off because you're not gonna eat that, no. are you? It's just this is to just flavour. Use the flavour. This is just flavour. And then we literally just sit the turkey on top of Chloe's it. Chloe's like come. <laughs> Underneath the hey, skin. Don't laugh at me, I don't know. <laughs> No, because I know that you won't like this bit, so this is the reason. So you no, go no, no, for professional skin, purposes, I will cope with this, yeah. And we put butter underneath, yeah. We put butter on top, and then we're going right. to salt and pepper it. Okay. And then we're going to wrap it in the foil and put it in the oven. Okay, that's why at Christmas you see all those big foils, they're so massive, and I think who needs baking foil that big, but it's for turkeys. Yeah. Well, you learn got something every day. There, so it's just nice, it's going to be nice and steamy in there, and it's going to make it all lovely and fused okay. and beautiful. Brilliant. So okay, why? Oh, it's warm. Look at that. She's in. She's in. Got some roasts on the go. Got some some other stuff going. Woo this is all the baby vegetables. Oh, Pearl will be so so glad of this. Pearl sweet and Darcy. potato. Does she like oh. sweet potato? But that was the first thing she ever had and she loved it. Darcy's a carrots girl. Unicorn carrots. These aren't for kids. These are my fave. Yeah. I might have one of those now, actually. With a snack. Because you wouldn't have cucumber. Did you just buy these for us to snack on? Yeah, no, I bought them for you, for the kids, because yeah. I knew that your kids... Right, so these are the potatoes, and you... Is it called parboiling? But you, you do it until they're almost done, don't you? I parboil them until they're literally almost mashable. Okay. So they become really, really fluffy on the outside. And yeah. then what I do is put loads of olive oil on. Now, yeah. don't be disturbed by how much I'm That's putting on. That's yeah, a lot. Don't be disturbed, because okay. what we're going to do then oh. is... We're literally soaking every single one of them. So we're soaking every single one. And then we are draining. You see, to me, that looks like they're all too, too falling apart. But I trust you it's, because your honestly, food is lovely. it's perfect. Put them in the tray. Like that. Yeah. They look like they're going to be incredible. I sort of want to eat them now. And then we're honest. going to just separate them so they get enough heat around each one. Okay. Can you see how fluffy they are? Yes. I like to eat. I know this is... The crispy bits. Yeah, the little I like tiny to scoop out bits. all the bits at the end. It's yeah, really oily and crunchy well. and naughty. And you see, really you nice. haven't got all that. They're not sitting in loads of oil. That's true. But they've actually got oil all around them, so you um, don't um, need um. to put any more on them now. Mm. Is the Esther tells me aren't done. I mean, uh, there's absolutely no way on God's earth they're going to be left for Liam tonight. Let's not a chance. Turn them over. Oh, let me just have one. Let me just have that one. Let Do me. you want a little tiny crispy one? Yeah, that, I want that. That's not even, it's not crisped up enough. Ugh. Have this one. Ugh. There you go. Just pop it there and I'll be really hot to tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is this your pan that you've brought? Yes. Did you not trust that I would have um, the equipment? This is my perfect potato pan. Wow. They never ever stick. So hot. So good. Esther, I want you to set up a kitchen. No, not a kitchen. What's it called? Run. <laughs> this is the um, pancetta. pancetta I've been picking at just a little bit, if I'm honest with you. Just eating little bits of it. Ooh. Don't really eat a lot of meat, but that's very nice. Oh, what, what are you doing? Is it done? No, basting. Basting. Good lord, that's heavy. Can you, smell, she is. Can you smell all the um, lemon and the garlic coming off it? Yes, very nice. There she is. We're gonna we're gonna baste her. Am I supposed to have a pipette? Yeah. Well, I don't have. I've got a large spoon. Let's use soup spoon. What about a ladle? Good idea. Yes. This is my um, the extent of here. It's not a ladle, is it? No, but we, it's better than this, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is. We're working. We've, we've got to yeah. work with what we're working. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a well-stocked kitchen. Just drizzle it over, just pour a little, get your little bar. Yeah, can you smell that garlic and that lemon and... Yes. Esther. Esther. Will you come and... No! Will you come and cook my Christmas dinner? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as, as oh, long what? As, what? As long as it's not actually on Christmas Day. Oh, no, I do mean on Christmas Day. I'd like you to stack off the family, if you mind. <laughs> 
One day we should do it all together. We should hire a magnificent castle and all Christmas together in Scotland. Fire arm. I don't want to go all, it's a long old way to Scotland. No, I want to go to a lock in Scotland a lock. to see a castle. So a lock is just a lake. Yeah, just go to Sidewell Reservoir. We just ruined your Christmas dreams. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> if you give, I've said it before and I'll say it again, if you give Esther a project, you beware because you don't take a project lightly, do you? No. I rang her last night, literally last night, and said, oh my god, I'm not sure I know how to cook a turkey. And the chef that did it at the thing did an amazing job and I just don't think I can do that. And she was like, don't worry darling, I'll be over at 10. <laughs> right, she's she's given the sprouts a lovely glaze with a knob of butter. See the glaze just there, the glaze. Lovely glaze, lovely glaze. Oh my god, which one can we say glaze? Glaze, lovely glaze. Oh, that looks nice. Do you put salt and pepper on them or do you just. Yeah, you can do. But do you, as an individual? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do a little taste test. Grab a fork. Hey, darling. Yeah, well, Esther just told me she doesn't even like Brussels. I love Brussels. I would do that as a snack. I've done a good job there. Really? I hate Brussels, so I would never eat it, so I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat this whole bowl. Have you had a bit of bacon with it? Mm. Is it nice? Mmm. Let's try it. Oh, I don't like it. I like Brussels raw. That's weird. I love them raw. When I was You're little, funny fish. I used to hide them underneath the table, so I used to pretend to cough at dinner time. <coughs> And put it under. There was a ledge underneath the table, and one day, years later, oh, my parents found, found them found rotten. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my god. Oh. And now, are they the ones I like, or are they the no, sausage the ones? ones? You like. <gasps> I have sausage. I'm turning them. They'll be ready in a few minutes. Yes. Look who's home from playgroup. Hello. Hello. What's that? Hello. Esther, do you know this came from Ayana? This. Had some good love. This, yeah. this. That's from your own. Yeah, she gave it to Darcy about like, two years ago, and now Pearl has it. Yeah, we make good use of toys here, don't we? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding. You're a good girl. Shall we see what Esther's making? Shall we have a little look? Look at this. Parsnips. You've basically just cooked. A, a small Christmas dinner, haven't you? Essentially, a whole Christmas dinner, yes. Just a whole Christmas dinner, Love it. and the turkey's going to go on here, is it? In the middle. Yeah. That's your vegetable platter. Then you've got your meat, meat and stuffing platter. This and your looks. Inc Where are your platters from? I need oh. to get some. Um, What's this? Okay, yeah. Boop boop boop. <gasps> is that nice? Is that nice? <laughs> I can try again. Mm -hmm. right, oh. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Esther. Put it away. Like I've never been here. <laughs> no, Esther, you you might not have left a mark on the kitchen. Oh, but you've left a mark on my heart. <laughs> she left a mark on your heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna film this moment so in years to come you can look back at your cuddles for Auntie Esther. She looks very peaceful with me. Oh, Pearly, is that nice? She's just like, yeah, just, oh. oh. She's gone in for a little snuggle with you. Pearly. Okay, I've slaved away all day by a hot stove with absolutely no help. Lol, 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 lol. Obviously, this is all Esther's doing, but I do feel equipped to actually replicate some of yes. this. Now you can I do roast like potatoes. I could do roast potatoes, the honeyed parsnips, parsnips. the turkey, I didn't actually realise that it, I'm not saying it was easy. It is easy. Okay, it did, it it's was easy. easier than I thought it was going to sure, be. Sure, you have it. Okay. Yeah, I thought that you had to do a lot of like really complicated things, no. but you just Google the weight and how long you're going to pop it in for. Yeah. Butter, 
the trivet, the trivet, yes. pivot, 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 <laughs> and then put it in. And how often did you base it? Is it every hour? I did it two times, and then just did a bit at the end. Two times, times. So what's that song? Two times a lady, three times a lady. Once, twice. Do you know what? I'll just show you it, yeah. shall I? Yeah. yeah. So I'll warm you up. We've got the the, the cranberry sauce, a platter of veg. These are incredible, as are these. Some gravy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks like a magazine bird. You know, when they, like, in take the pictures. I hope you're really proud of yourself. I am. You should be. This is incredible. It looks crispy and moy. Well, we'll sample it. And then I don't know who ate some of these, but we'll just not talk about that. These are delicious as well. Should we give it a little taste test? Yes. Should we just cut a bit off yes. the top and have a little nibble? Yes. I'll set up the tripod. That looks succulent. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. It, cause okay. You might actually have a bit from the inside. Yeah. Have this looks bit. really nice. Have this bit here. Cause you I have that bit because I'm holding this now. Okay. I have that. Okay. It's hot. You can have it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's burning my hand. <laughs> it's burning me. It's so warm. That's really nice. Genuinely, really nice. Mm. A bit of cranberry. That's lovely. I don't want to do the cliche and say, "Oh, it's so moist," but that is moist. That's a good bird. Mm. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Great morning. Yum. <laughs> I'm sure Lidl won't mind me saying this, but I would not have, before working with them and learning about them, anticipated that I could literally buy an entire Christmas dinner from there, including mm. the turkey. Because you always think you've got to go somewhere specialist for a turkey, don't you? You've got to order it, you've got to... But you don't. Just pop in and get it. I've got absolutely everything there. Mm. Even like, down to the, all the little trimmings and stuff. Can we try some bacon? Mm. Nice, isn't it? Mm. So if you would like one of these beautiful turkeys, they are available from Lidl on the 19th of December. I checked, I don't need to check it up on the screen. I went and checked in between filming. 19th of December, turkey, Lidl, lovely. Right, I was gonna say I need to do the tidying up, but Esther's basically, she's basically done all the tidying up for me. So I'm going to cut this up or carve it, as they say, um, and save some for Darcy and Liam's dinner. I think Esther and I are going to have a cheeky Christmas dinner at quarter to three on a Thursday afternoon. What is life? Good morning, it's Friday and it's Louise the editing egg here today for you. I'm just editing Monday to Thursday and it has already come to 52 minutes. That is going to take so long to upload and if I film all of today, we're going to have over an hour vlog, so I'm just not going to film any more today. I dread to think how long this would have been if I had actually like filmed loads this week because I didn't film much on Monday. Wednesday was basically a disaster day. I think I handled it very well in my like, hmm, well seeing the positives, but really I was like, oh my god, it's a disaster. Thursday was by far the best day and I was secretly dreading it because I was like, I can't cook a turkey. But one, Esther came and made it brilliant. And two, turns out cooking a turkey is not that hard. Um, and now I'm quite excited to show off my skills on Christmas day. I'm gonna leave it here because in a minute, well, I'm gonna finish editing the vlog and then I'm going for a workout. Got workout wear on today. I'm going trampolining with Fiona, who's my WW wellness coach. Um, and we've become good friends. So we're gonna go and have a little workout go for a little bounce. I'm gonna try and film a video today about um, Elf on the Shelf. Do go and check out the video that I put up yesterday. It's all about my mum, it's very heartfelt, and there's been some lovely comments on that, so go and check that out. Um, thank you very much to Lidl for being part of this video, and thank you, mostly you, for watching. And I will see you next week for another fabulous weekly. Bye-bye.